Welcome to another edition of my flight sim videos. This one is our approach at night into Los Angeles International Airport. If you guys saw the video a few days ago of me flying into Honolulu in the pouring rain and overclass clouds and almost zero visibility, uh, well, this is the return from Hawaii. I'm coming back to my home hometown area, Los Angeles. Right now we are on the approach and I've got it on the ILS. We have captured the glide slope. So the glide slope is descending us. We, I think we have speed, was it 160 is the set airspeed. But look at the graphics of this. I mean, this is flying over, I believe, the Linwood uh, area and the 105 freeway is paralleling us to the left and I don't know if it's a freeway below us or, or a main street. Uh, looks a little small for a main street but anyway oh okay we'll go in 170 knots. Uh, what will happen is as we get closer to the airport actually once we get almost to the edge of the airport I'll uh, cancel the auto throttle and take control of that and slow it down. I th I, my target speed is going to be like 100 and 150 knots. Uh, speaking of landing, let's make sure we got the, the spoilers set for automatic deployment. Uh, and then also when I disengage the auto throttle, I will disengage the autopilot as well and, and the airplane will be under my control. Uh, probably around, I don't know, 500 feet above the runway and just before the edge and uh, I'll be able to bring it down if uh, everything goes well. <laughs> you can see the Hawthorne Airport straight ahead to the left around 11 o'clock. Uh, that's a little small commuter airport. Uh, there it is just below the left the wing tip almost not quite to the tip. Now this is the uh, I believe the 110 freeway and I think we're crossing a waypoint called, uh, what was the name of it? I believe it was called Fogla. So here's some views looking south. And we're looking north a while ago. We've already passed downtown, so uh, I, I forgot to look when we were passing downtown. Oh well. All right, we're getting close. We're approaching, this is runway 25 right out of the four main runways of LAX. This is the longest runway at LAX. So you can see the, the runway indicator lights. You can see the Pappy lights. Looks like I have three, one white, three red, so I'm a little low. Uh, I haven't taken, now I'm, I'm pretty low. I've got all the four Pappy lights on. Hmm. All right. It's time to disconnect the autopilot. autopilot, and I have disconnected the auto throttle, so I am in control now. Let's see if we can set this down without uh, anyone getting whiplash. Ooh. Okay, not one of my best landings, but. We are, we are down in one piece. It's got the reverse thrusters on. Let's get this bird slowed down enough to exit into a taxiway. All right, the thrusters are off. Reverse thrusters, that is. Let's find an exit. There's one. Now I haven't been really in, in touch with the ground ground crew ground control and uh, those folks. So normally they would tell us where to, where to taxi to, what gate, or parking area. You know what? It's late. I'm just gonna pull into a to a gate. It's not ours, but it'll be empty. And what the heck? Let's get a map of the airport up so I can see where we're going here. Set up in my seat a bit. Let's check it out from the external camera.
LAX is one of the handcrafted airports in the simulator, meaning it's just not uh, produced by artificial intelligence or the AI engine as far as the buildings and, and whatnot, based on what, what uh, you know, the satellite maps have, uh, currently show. So if someone has taken the time to go in and plot it out and, and fill in all the details of the buildings and whatnot. Yeah, that's me. I'm a rebel. I'm just cutting right across the, uh, the roadway there. <laughs> Taking a shortcut. We should be able to find some empty gate. There's a gate up there on the right. Let's see if we can get that one. It has a jetway, but I don't think we'll be using the jetway tonight. All right, parking brake is set. Let's see if we can start shutting down some of these systems here. Let's turn off the flight director. So I turn off the landing lights. Oops, I forgot to uh, turn on the taxi lights. It's not the first time that I've forgotten that. Let's turn down some of these other lights in here. Oh, that looks good. All right, what am I thinking of here? Okay. Let's go down. Let's, oh, we didn't clean up the flaps, so let's do that now. I've set the brake already. Let's start to shut down some of these fuel systems before we shut down the, the jet turbines. Okay, let's open the button guard for engine number one. And shut it down in uh, engine number two. Close the guards. Cool. The DI scene is off. We, we didn't need the DI scene, so I had those disabled. Let's turn off the interior lights. Now let's start shutting down some of the electrical systems and the, uh, the auxiliary power unit, the APU, and the main batteries. Everything should be shut down. It's my little flashlight I have when it gets dark. So I can see how to what to do. Let's take a quick look outside of uh, LAX, the airport itself, from a bird's eye view. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good detail. So I can see. Yeah, the, the terminal. The second terminal back is the International Tom Bradley Terminal. I think this is Terminal D, maybe? D or E? A lot of planes here. It looks quiet. I don't, I've don't. seen some cars and trucks drive by, but no people out on the, out on the tarmac. Hmm. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned because I have a lot of different flights planned. Not only here, but around the world.